Uh, dramatic and tragic developments in the Smyrna shooting investigation. Delaware State Police are now calling it a double homicide. Good evening, I'm Steve Hammond. That is where we begin this evening at 6. Delaware State Police now say there are a total of three people dead in this case. A 21-year-old woman was found dead from a gunshot wound in a Smyrna neighborhood last night. That death has been connected to this investigation. And that in addition to the 38-year-old woman who was shot and killed yesterday morning and her husband, the 47-year-old gunman who police say shot and killed himself in his car yesterday just after 11 a.m. No names have been released. Delaware State Police say that suspect and his 38-year-old wife arrived in the same car yesterday morning at Smyrna Middle to pick up their daughter for a doctor's appointment. There was a verbal argument outside the car which resulted in the husband shooting and killing his wife. He then fled Smyrna heading west and leading state police on a high-speed chase into Maryland. Police say it was on Route 213 in Galena, about 17 miles west of Smyrna, where the suspect shot himself and crashed. He was pronounced dead at a hospital nearby. At some point during their investigation, police learned that a 21-year-old woman who was a family friend of the wife might be another victim in this case. Police went to McLean Gardens in Smyrna to check on that young woman where they found she had been shot and killed. WBOC's Cassie Simeon joins us tonight in Smyrna where family and friends still trying to make sense of this tragedy tonight. And Cassie, you spoke to neighbors and friends of the victims. They are stunned by the events of the last 38 hours. Steve, members of this tight-knit community are devastated. They say that the couple lived in this apartment complex behind me, and the 21-year-old woman that was found here was the best friend of the 38-year-old woman that was also killed yesterday. And they say they had no idea what was happening until police arrived. Completely shocking. It's completely shocking. A neighborhood is stunned after learning neighbors and friends are gone. The school started calling. I didn't even know it was her until the police got here. A friend and next door neighbor tells us she saw the 38 year old victim yesterday morning and that they had no idea the 21 year old victim was inside the home right next door. I didn't hear anything and that's hurtful because if I would have heard something, I would have reacted. I would have tried my best to do something, you know, and that goes for all of us. Nobody heard anything. That little girl was in there all day all day and I was there by myself and we heard nothing. One woman who did not want to go on camera said the 21 year old victim was her sister in law and the 38 year old was the godmother of her children. The neighbors tell us the pair were a loving couple and that the 21 year old was an innocent bystander. There, I'm sure there was red flags, but they were so private, private, private. you know, yeah. they would never, they would never bring it out here for everybody to judge them and hear them and be, they, that, that wasn't them. That wasn't them at all. So the red flags, there could have been, you know, but we never, seen we never seen them. All we saw was a loving couple. According to those neighbors, the couple left behind multiple children and this block is leaning on each other through this tragedy. We don't have answers. We only, we're going off of what we know and what's been told to us which is still hard to believe because of their characters, you know. This community left with more questions tonight than answers. Now the timeline of this tragedy is still unclear. Police have not yet released how they became aware of that 21 year old victim. In Smyrna, Cassie Simeon, WBOC News, Delmarva's News Leader. All right, Cassie, thank you.